Hello there, welcome to Ton TV and the Greenock Morton Weekly Update, as sponsored by McTears, the auctioneers. My special guest today has been at the club for just over a year. We know that he likes to put himself about the park. He's also been turned from a midfielder into an attacker by the gaffer. He's supposed to be a bit mental in the dressing room. And above all, he now has a song dedicated by the Morton support. Calvin, thanks for coming in today. Um, Wagon Wheel, what's that all about? Eh, uh, that's just my song, Jerry. Can't sing it, sir. Well, we'll get to that a wee, <laughs> bit, a wee bit later on. Uh, listen, uh, you had a great start to the season. You were playing in all the games and you've been leading uh, the line on your own. That's a big, big change for you. Uh huh. No, definitely. See if you coming from playing as a winger to being up front and leading the line, it's definitely, I like it. I like the responsibility of being up there and it suits me, it suits the way I play. You credited the manager, we talked during lockdown, you credited the manager with turning you from a midfield player into an attacker. Has, has he been a big influence on you? Uh, yeah, definitely. I just, I never used to see myself as a striker, but see the way I put myself about, as you would say, physical that way. I think you can, I think it's more productive what I do up front than I would be on the wing. So I think it's more useful playing up front. Allo on Saturday, so <coughs> important to get the three points. What did you make of the game? Uh, I think it was a good game. That was that's what we were all about. Hard work, closing people down, putting ourselves about. That that is us. So maybe no for the other, other teams. When I say it was a good game, but for us, I think we've done pretty good. I three points. That's, that's all we need. Pretty decent goal as well. I mean, the manager's always going on about the counter attack threat that you have, and that's certainly how you get the goal on Saturday. Mm -hmm. No, definitely that is how we play. Especially when you get Cammy up front, like over fifteen twenty yards, and there he's catching him. So when you're playing breakaway football like that, that's what you need. You need somebody like him up front, so aye, it was good. A good distance for Cammy <coughs> to score from as well, eh? Aye, I don't know if it was a touch or he was trying to go in the goal, I don't know, but it worked. <laughs> also, one of the things about you is, you don't go down easily, mm -hmm. um, you don't let out cries easily, but we were up in the stand on Saturday and we heard this almighty shout for that tackle that was on you. A yelp. <laughs> <laughs> How did it feel? Uh, no good, no. Uh, I know it was, it was a so, you know, I think you need to invest in bigger shin guards now, but <laughs> I just, it was a sewing and I went down, but I think you have to put a wee extra yelp on that just to, to hopefully get <laughs> get a card shown. But I, don't, I don't know about the stand, I think they heard you up, up the port. I know, down the harbour they've definitely heard us. Uh, no, it was, it was a sewing and I actually thought it could have been a red, I, I thought at one point, especially with my performance, screaming. So <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you do then? You scream louder and get the guy sent off? No, Aye. no I, I thought I thought a wee bit of dramatics, I thought Aye. maybe it would have worked, but obviously no. To be fair, up on the stand, uh, myself and Big Andy, we thought that there's a potential red there. but So did I, I thought maybe, the, I think the centre half as well thought it was going to be a red, but to no avail. <laughs> and of course, in the middle of it all, there was that great Twitter photo of you and Robert Lewandowski. Lewandowski, who done it better? <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> I think me. Well, the consensus from the modern support that got onto Twitter was that you definitely did it better. That when was the last time you were in a photograph of Robert Lewandowski? That's the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, let's look ahead. Uh, Dundee at the weekend, there's no question that's going to be a tough game. No, definitely that will be a hard game. It's just a total dynamic, a total different style of play for what Al was last week. So just the gaffer will just be setting up to, to play against them, how, how we can give ourselves the best chance. So. It's another challenge. or a great squad of boys, so we don't really we don't really go into fearing it. We just go in thinking how can we affect the game this week. He's got choices, the manager, hasn't he? I mean, he's got a full Aye. team to pick from. A lot of selections. Everybody fighting for a place. Oh, well, that's the thing. Nobody's safe, and we've got that big a squad and that many players that can do all different jobs. So even for myself, none of us are safe. But and I wouldn't even say safe. I would just say. There's different games that we can affect it differently. So if you're off for a week or two, that it's just the gaffer does what is best for the team. So it's nothing personal. So it's good that way. Very got a good dynamic. There is a dynamic, and we've talked about this <coughs> before. The camaraderie in the dressing room as well mm -hmm. with the boys. You see it when you come into training, but everybody knows they've got to fight for a place. Uh -huh. No, definitely. I, th I th actually, as I said last season, this is the best changing room I've had. I, I think. The gaffer just, you see, I think he brings boys in to be like that. He, he has us all been like, training. I, I think that's, I think it's credit to him that we're all like that. I think he, that's the way he likes his changing them. So, it, and it helps in the park. Everybody's down for each other. It's, it's, I, I like it. That's brilliant. So playing as a lone striker as a new role for you. What are your expectations for yourself this season? Uh, 
See, it's hard. It's even a lot of the style that we play. It. See, for us, it's just to win. That's that's all I want is to win. Of course, you want to get goals. You will get goals through the season. I had personal targets, but for me, it's just doing as well as we can as a club. It's no individual stuff yet, and it's just win first, and hopefully, do you know what I mean, I can get my own stats up there. This weekend, of course, as show racism, the red card, you've got the t-shirt on there as well. I mean, sometimes we need to remember that it's more than a game. There are issues out there that uh -huh. we need to address as a community and a club and as, as, a, as a country. Mm -hmm. No, definitely, I, I agree with that, but as well, Martin's a club, they show wearing stuff like this, they've got the signs, that they're totally against racism, do you know what I mean? So, I, it's, uh, it's still something you've got a platform with football, it has to be shown sometimes, this, so it's good, it's good as you're doing. Now, you and I caught up with each other during lockdown, and mm -hmm. it was suggested to me that you are a mental character. Some would say, <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe my mum would say that, I know. Are your mum's your biggest fan, is she not? No, she is, she is. <laughs> uh, no, I might be slightly mental compared to the average, the average teammate. Surely there's more mental in that dress than Oh, there's a few crazy, we've got Cammy Selkirk, he's nuts. He, he's, he's got a part of him that's nuts, there's, there's a few in there. Can anybody understand Cammy? A wee bit, I just watch his lips move and try and guess what he's saying. <laughs> well, listen, thanks for coming in. Um, we can't end. We need to talk about Wagon Wheel. What, wagon Wheel? Uh, you promised me outside that you would give us a couple of bars. Bear in mind, this is going to be on camera and a lot of people are going to see it. So you need to be careful how you do it. Wagon Wheel. Rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. We got him for nothing. Steal. Hey, hey, Calvin, I'll say. <laughs> But Calvin, listen, we hope to hear that. Been chanted a lot once we get the supporters back. But do you know what? See if you score a couple of goals and we're at Capital, we'll be shouting it up in the stands as well. Thanks Brilliant. for coming in today. Thanks for having us, Jay. Cheers. And thank you for joining us once again on the Unit Weekly <coughs> Update, as sponsored by Mate Tears, the auctioneers.